Y'all, I just did an entire intro and review video, like the intro, and I wasn't recording. So homegirl was talking to herself. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, 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 hello. Guys, today I'm going to be doing a review video. This video is going to be a review on the Juvia's Place and Vanessa collection. This collection comes with a six pan eyeshadow palette and two glosses. First thing I wanna talk about is the palette. So this is a review. As you can see, I've used it on my eyes and I'm not gonna hold you up and be like, are you gonna watch the whole thing to see my thoughts? I'm telling you my thoughts now. So this comes with a six pan palette. The great thing about this is it's very neutral, but it also has the pops of color. The thing about this palette that really stands out to me is it is a neutral and fun palette. And when I say that, I mean, you have your neutral tones, which everybody loves, and then like me, I'm a color whore. I love color. I can't help it, I don't know what to tell you. If you follow me, you know I love the colors. And this, this is neutral, but it's glam, and I love glam, like. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right, you know what I'm saying? You have your neutrals, and then you have these shimmery shades, which are really, really fun. So Huda Beauty a while ago had this launch, I wanna say it's either their Desert Dust or the Nudes palette, the first Nudes palette. And the internet was going crazy because she had these shimmery eyeshadows with chunks of pearlescent glitters in it. And this palette actually has one of those. So it's like a pinkish purplish glitter and it has white pearlescence in it, which kind of give it a really intense shift to it. I, that's what I have on my lids today, and I didn't use a mixing medium or anything to get it to shine like this. The great thing about it is it's also shifty. So in some angles it looks gold, in other angles it's kind of pink. And that's also how this one works. This one, when I look at it at the pan, it looks like a true gold. But then when I put it on my eyes, I noticed that there was like, pink shift to it and I was like girl oh okay so you guys already know I love Juvia's Place I love their um I like their eyeshadow formulas I have a bunch of their regular palettes and then I also have a boatload I think I might have all of the mini palettes so I highly suggest checking them out because they are mm, chef's kiss like the formula of their eyeshadows have yet to let me down they blend well together they blend well over any base thus far and like I mean I haven't had any problems out of it so I do highly suggest it for the lips she came out with two lip glosses one of the glosses that I have on my lips is the legit nude and I mean of course hello and then there's a pink one which is called Naomi now I love these lip glosses let me tell you I just when I did the yummy one that was my first time using Juvia's Place lip glosses and mm, let me just tell you let me let me start with the smell they smell like MAC lip glosses. So they have that vanilla cake batter smell and they smell so good. So, I mean, of course I had to use the nude, but I can definitely see myself using this pink. I'm not sure when. Definitely gonna do a look. You guys know I will. It's definitely a, it's a set that I definitely suggest picking up if you can. The only thing about Juvia's Place is with these collabs, so far what I've noticed is they don't last that long on the website like Yami's palette is gone and I was so sad about that. I did get one but I, I wanted to like you know purchase another one for a giveaway but I wasn't able to so I just have the one for me. So I got some exciting stuff coming up for y'all. I got some exciting stuff coming up for y'all. Okay I'm just I'm gonna bypass that. Okay so yes definitely pick up the palette. I absolutely love it. Highly suggest it. And we can go ahead and get into this look, but before we do, if you are new, please make sure to join our family. Share my videos to help boost me up. Make sure that you like the video because it really helps with my algorithm. And then last, but certainly not least, subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? Good? Great. So we're gonna start with a fresh face, yeah. This NYX glue, brow glue, let me, it's glue. I'm convinced it's real glue. And I just use it to put my brows into place before I carve them out. I like to use um, 
my P. Louise base uh, in Rumor. Well, okay, so with this one, when I really want it highlighted, I'm using Rumor 3, but if I just want like a simple neutral look and I really don't want too much of a highlighted brow, I'll use number five. This is just a fancy concealer, but honestly, it does dry down in my opinion, like that's what I've noticed. If you leave it alone, it dries down and it gets tacky and it no longer moves, which is a little different from concealer where most concealers kind of, you know, they take longer. So this is the palette and the packaging is just so pretty and then when you open it up These are the beautiful colors. So the first shade I'm going in with is slush. It's a really pretty orange tone It's like a burnt orange and that's going to be my crease shade. So I'm Concentrating this oh wait. I said slush. It's stush s-t-u-s-h All right I mean, I'm sure you don't care. If you have the palette, then you know what I'm talking about. So it's like a burnt orange. So I'm placing this in the cut crease area. And I was trying to do that negative space cut crease. I do think that I brought it out a little too far. Um, next time I do a cut crease like this, I think I'm going to keep it um, a little closer. Like I feel like it went too far to the arch of my brow. So maybe keeping it closer towards the inner part of the eyebrow. Um, if anybody knows how to do it, please let me know. So now I'm going in with BSG, which is Brown Skin Girl, and I'm placing that in the crease area to deepen it and to create like the depth. <laughs> I mean, that's what deepen it means, right? Anyways, I'm going back and forth with that color and I'm using a Morphe M507 brush. This is the one that has like a pointed end, so it's a little more tapered than the 506. And I'm just using that to place it in the center and just really deepen that. The best way to get the color saturation that you want and to have the blend look seamless is to go back and forth with the colors, and that's what I do. Now I'm taking some micellar water and I'm pretty much just cutting my crease. Um, typically when I do my crease area, if I know I'm going to be doing a cut crease, I don't bring my primer all the way down to my eyelid because I'm just about to clean it up. I just bring it down as low as I think, you know, the color will stick. Now I'm going back in with that P. Louise base and I'm placing that all over the lid because now I'm about to add the color to the lid. So I'm just pressing that into my lids until it's all nice and smooth. And then I kind of messed up right here. Um, I started going back in with um, Brown Skin Girl BSG, but I didn't add my lid shade, which I wanted to do first. So now I'm going in with Extra, which is that gold with a pink and green shift. And I'm just placing that all over the lid area, pressing it into the primer until the entire lid is covered and then kind of blending out the edges so that it's not like a complete cut crease. I could have done this better. I really feel like I could have, but we'll try this technique again. So going back in with Stush, or stoosh, I don't know how to say it, but I am putting that on top of that brown and blending it out, kind of creating a smoky liner. And then I'm gonna go in with Swerve by ColourPop. This is a cream liner and my brush, and I'm just creating my wing, my wing liner. I'm sorry, I know some people don't like wing liners, but I feel like this is just one of those things that never goes out of style for me. And especially like right here, since I am mixing it with, you know, my eyeshadow, it kind of gives that smoky cat eye look. Um, and that's why I use the cream liner, just to give you that smoky cat eye look. You'll see what it looks like in a minute. So just to deepen that eyeliner, because you know I did smoke it out, I'm taking my Essence liquid liner and this is in black. This is probably my favorite liquid liner. I bought this one and a NYX one at the same time and the NYX one dried out and I don't even use it as much. Like I just think that that's crazy. The NYX one also cracked a lot whereas this matte one that was what two or three dollars by Essence has lasted me almost, geez it's been months, probably since last summer and it's still going strong. So for lashes, I used Hottie by the BYL Cosmetics, and just to add a little pizzazz to my cut crease, I'm going in with Zodiac by NYX. This is their liquid, I guess it's like their liquid glitter liners. So I'm just tracing over my cut crease, and that just gives it a little bit of sparkle. 
Just to clean up underneath my winged liner, I am taking a little bit of concealer and just kind of sharpening that line and blending it out. Once you add your foundation, this won't be that noticeable, but I do take a fluffy brush and kind of blend out the edges. So you see I have like that perfect cut crease. Moving on to face. Make sure that you wash and have a clean, fresh face before you get into this. I'm using the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This is a new primer for me. Um, this was my first time using it, and I do have a couple of thoughts. It is a really nice silicone primer. It does mattify your face, and it does almost like blur your face. You'll see it in a minute. This is my first time using it, and I was surprised at how, you know, it really blurred out my skin. Like, I looked facetuned. In person <laughs> so I'm using the Juvia's Place foundation I mean this is a Juvia's Place video so I used as much Juvia's Place as I could and I'm taking a Real Techniques brush which I need to clean and I am placing on my foundation I'm using pressing motions to kind of push it into that primer it's a little dark for me don't judge me I do like my foundations to be a little darker but this is mostly like a summer color. I know you're probably like, girl, why are you wearing such heavy foundation in the summer? Mind your business. So I'm pressing that into the skin and like, look at that full coverage. You can't even see my skin no more. Like my skin is completely gone. For concealer, I'm using number 14 and number 15, also Juvia's Place. I do love these concealers. What I do like about these concealers is they pair really well with the foundation. And I say that because the foundation is full coverage and the concealer I would say is more like a medium coverage. So if you did want something a little lighter, you could just go in with the concealer over your spots and be done. Y'all like my Valentine's Day themed um, Real Technique sponge? So yeah, you can just go in with the concealer and be done and be good to go. You know what I mean? So. Sometimes like if I'm just like running out the door, I'll use this concealer with a little bit of foundation powder and you know some mascara and you're out the door. I should do a video on like simple out the door looks. So I did want to highlight underneath my eyes so that's why I went in with 15 and yeah. 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 So to contour and I'm only using this on my nose. I'm using the Juvia's Place. I believe it's Soko Sokoto. Um, cream foundation stick and I'm using this as my contour stick I'm still working on my nose contour my latest video I definitely think I got it down pack or at least the technique that I want to use I feel like I got it down pack so I'm not gonna focus too much on my nose contour just know that that's what I'm doing and I don't think I used it for the rest of my face I kind of had more of a blended a blown out uh, concealer type day so I'm using this Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. And I do have a couple of thoughts on this powder. It's not good to bake with, in my opinion. Um, Y'all know I've been using my Beauty Bakery uh, powder to bake with. And that is like, it's an expensive powder. But let me tell you, that powder works, okay? This powder, it sticks to my foundation and it sticks too much. Like, not... The way I want it to stick so underneath my eyes I'm going in with brown skin girl and stush and I'm just creating you know my lower lash line you can also go in with a white eyeliner but I do like my eyes to look smaller almost so I do like black in my waterline um, or sometimes I use colors like if you want to use like an orange that'll be cool or a brown if you want to be a little more neutral for mascara, I'm going back in with my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara in Blackest Black, and I'm coating my lower lashes. I have really been into adding lower lashes, and I know it sounds weird, but I have been loving it. So you don't have to do it, and I didn't put it in this video, but I do have on lower lashes, so those are not my lashes sticking out, girl, I wish. So I'm blending away the powder and like, I don't know if you notice, it's not going anywhere. It's just really, really light. Like I had to blend the shite out of this, okay? So for bronzer, I'm using my Morphe Mega Bronzer. I believe this is in Megastar. 
and I'm just warming up my face. I didn't get a clip of my highlight or blush, but they were both Juvia's Place, and that will be listed down below. And you'll also see it in my hand. So yeah, so I'm, like I said, I am warming up my face using the Morphe bronzer because I don't have a bronzer from uh, Juvia's Place. But for blush, I'm using, I believe it's, it'll be down in the description box. I don't remember the name, but it's the like orangey-ish one in this palette. This is the Sedan Volume 2 Serdam. Girl, I can't speak today. So for a highlighter, I absolutely love this highlighter. Don't know if you could tell. Um, I'm using the Royalty One highlighter, and this is like, it's almost like having gold in a bottle, in a tub. And I'm just highlighting my face. I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose only partially. I don't go all the way down till I meet the tip. And then I do put like a little dot on the tip. Uh, depending on how you feel, you could put it on your brow or your cupid's bow. Um, I did see how you just add a little bit and it's like booyah. Like start feeling yourself. Feeling myself. I can't do that little car thing that vroom. I tried vroom. <laughs> I was too excited to care. Now I just add a little bit of face powder to mattify all the areas that didn't get any type of powder. And I'm setting everything with my Milani face mist. This is like dragon fruit and I can't remember the other fragrance, but yeah, I'm adding that to my face just to set everything in place. And then we're gonna move on to lips. Like it smells so good. It smells so good, you make it want it to be like a perfume. I would think that fragrance wouldn't be good to put on your face, but it worked. So now moving on to lips. These lips really got me good, let me tell you. Okay, so it came with two lip glosses. One is in Naomi, that's the pink one, and then there's Legit Nude. Everybody has been using Legit Nude, I'm trying to tell you. But with this look, I'm not wearing anything red. I didn't use the berry color, so I think it only makes sense to use Legit Nude. I'm lining my lips using my Morphe Toasty eyeliner, lip liner. And I did it kind of sloppily because I was really excited to get into the gloss. This gloss smells like a MAC lip gloss. Like You just put it on just to smell it. And if you put it on right, you definitely don't need to wear a lipstick underneath. You can clearly just go in with the gloss, which I like to do. And girl, when I say I was feeling it, I was like, bitch, girl. Okay, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed this palette and lip gloss, this entire Juvia's Place collection. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel, help your sister out. And until next time, beauties, stay blessed. Mm -hmm.